Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Larry Sox here. Today we have an AMC stock price prediction for you. I know there was that crazy news about GameStop earlier and AMC is up 5% and after hours. I actually recorded an entire update video and then just scrapped it uh, due to that reason because I had to give an update prior to that news. So this is it. All I ask you guys to do is smash the like. Now let's get right into the video. All right, guys so currently after hours amc trading at 25.93 up 5.24 percent and i shit you not i can't make this stuff up i have a few timestamps here that i wanted to look at this is at 304 p.m eastern standard uh for the past three days this is uh 56 minutes before market close or four minutes into power hour however you like to see it now this is on the 10 minute time frame but you can really look at this on the five three two or one or honestly any time frame uh you see amc sell off at these times at the same time and uh you get a better depiction on game stops uh you can see a sell off at the exact same time this is 3 13 p.m eastern standard bang bang and then right here and even on the one minute you can see it very closely uh, you see a massive sell-off from the peak. Uh, if it's a couple minutes off, you get the points from the peak. And then the day before, <clears throat> let's see, the peak uh, right around this zone, sell-off. And then the same exact thing on this day. So three days. Uh, what this tells me is that the algos are have found the kick-in spot. Uh, so what happened here was you got the momentum run up, right? Uh, this is just in my opinion, right? The momentum has been running up and same with AMC and the momentum got stumped. Why do I say the momentum got stumped? Well, if you go over here and you actually just take a look at the volume for AMC, you'll find out that we only traded 88 million today. And that's actually a bunch in after hours. Uh, really, it was like 78 million to 82, somewhere in that zone. After uh, following a 200 million day or two, two of those days okay so 211 226 somewhere in that zone so volume got stumped out and what actually happened here was um all of these calls are now being unhedged so there was 150,000 calls just about expiring in the money and now they got smacked uh, i do think short ladders were happening as well but now they are unhedging for these calls uh what does that mean that means market makers were pretty much just buying hedging for these calls that were expiring in the money and then when the price was dropping they did not need that anymore so what happens here guys is um where do we go from here? If you take a look at this on the 15 minute, it's a better depiction. And then you go over to March, uh, May 3rd, actually, we made a video about it and it's almost identical to this setup. So I think within the near future, the next few days, uh, if not tomorrow, next week, you're gonna have a major push and break over 36, in my opinion. Uh, I don't see bear case scenario happening. We also bounced perfectly off of this demand zone and we got a nice little push due to the GameStop news. Now, as you guys can see, shorts didn't cover uh, if you didn't know, shorts didn't cover back in May, June. Uh, if that was the short squeeze, then we wouldn't be holding the stock this whole time, right? Shorts did not get out. This was Gamma FOMO, and you can see that they stumped the momentum. They tried to, they attempted to, and that's why you see the massive failure to delivers right here, right? Uh, you saw the, uh, the ball stop rolling after all these failure to delivers. They shot the stock down right here. And then what happened here was the momentum started to pick up again, and you see these start picking up again. They can't get the momentum to go, so chances are uh, they may or may not go bankrupt from the actual short squeeze. Whatever they're trying to do to actually keep this down is very scary for them. Uh, whether they don't want to cover and go bankrupt or they would rather make their 3-4% constantly off of us if that theory is true or not. Okay, so there are a few scenarios we have from here on out. GameStop broke above the $200 level, hit 204 in pre-market after hours. Now, if this continues, this is kind of what I wanted to point out, right? If this does continue, you're going to have a lot more call options expiring in the money, an additional 21,000, so you have 38,000, and that's a pretty good price. If we close above 200 tomorrow for GameStop, that is a key price. Now, as for AMC, I do wanna close above 30. You have an additional 37,000 call contracts on top of the 28 and 26 strike price, and the, the honestly, the numbers, each dollar counts on the way up there, but you will have 140,000 calls expiring in the money if we close above 30 tomorrow. And that will, I think, get the momentum ball rolling again. So overall, guys, uh, just looking at it, just looking at technicals, uh, this is beautiful, right? If you take a look at 
from AMC sell off to here. We did it on the T on my TD um, mirror trade or tr my trading view actually. Uh, the last 14 days to where we're at now is actually still up over 90% for AMC and up over 120% for GameStop. So guys, stay calm, cool, collected, and get ready for tomorrow. As for the price prediction breakdown, uh, I can give you a sweet and simple one, right? You break out of this falling wedge. Now this could be a false breakout just due to the fact that the news came out, but chances are you come down and you tap this uh, back on the demand zone again around 24.50. Uh, you tap back on this wedge and actually get a major push into tomorrow. And hopefully we break above this absorption zone and don't come back down because this is where momentum gets sucked out. Okay, if we close above 30, which is in the absolute middle of this absorption zone uh then you should have a lot of gamma going into next week a lot more fomo hopefully volume scoop uh yada 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 you guys get the whole spiel so overall this is the update i do have for you guys for amc and gamestop uh if you wouldn't mind smashing like if you want a free neo stock today's the last day you can sign up and deposit over a penny the link is in the description i love you all lottery stocks out